Hi, math people. This is Steve Mosley, your ed tech coach. And I just want to briefly talk to you about the value of recording directions for your class, especially math, I think this pertains to, and science where steps are involved to solve a problem. Let me just talk about a couple of reasons why, or three actually, why you might want to record the directions for your class. Um, the first one would be shy students. You've got those students in your class that have a question but are afraid to ask. And so they kind of keep their hand down and what ends up happening is they end up maybe asking uh, a neighbor who's trying to get their work done or they just shut down because they're confused. So shy students. Number two, um, students can work on an example that you've given them while watching your video. So they can mirror your video step by step that you've done. So they'll open up your video and they'll watch it and then open up another browser window and work on the problem, pause yours while they solve their example, and then slowly watch step by step how you solve the problem. And then three is they can always use it for an at-home review. So they have a test coming up. They can simply just go to how you solve the example on Google Classroom and watch how you did that and practice themselves. So again, shy students, um, those that are afraid to raise their hand and might ask neighbors, perhaps disrupt the class or just shut down because they couldn't solve it. Students also wanna see how you did it more slowly. So of course you've provided an example on your whiteboard or on your ViewSonic, but they're still not sure how you got that five or how that became a negative instead of a positive. So what they can do is watch your video slowly, step by step while they solve the problem. And then lastly, they can always review your video at home exactly how to solve the problem. So let me show you an example of one that I put together And go back there we go um, and it's just simplifying these expressions so again you've already done this on the whiteboard or on your view sonic but you've also recorded the direction so if a student isn't sure about something they can simply go back and watch the video hey everyone we want to simplify the, uh, the expression here and x squared plus x minus 12 over x squared minus 5x plus 6 so if it helps Let's put a one in front of that X so we know there's always a one there. Now what we want to do is get something that multiplies to negative 12 and adds to one. So first let's deal with the X's. So what goes, what equals X squared? Well, we've got two X's. And then let's see, um, a positive 4 and a negative 3 would equal 1. So we're going to go x plus 4 and x minus 3. So that takes care of the top half. We're going to do the same thing with the bottom. What well, equals x squared but two x's? Now again we want something that multiplies to 6 and adds up to negative 5. And that's going to be uh, negative 3 and a negative two. Now there are two things that can cancel, well there's one thing that can cancel each other out, which would be a, the x minus three, x minus three, and we're left with x plus four over x minus two. And that's as far as we can go. So now we've simplified the expression. So again, you see if students were a little slow to catch on, they can just pause the video and go step by step and watch your directions in solving their own examples. Instead of waving their hands and trying to get your attention, perhaps you might have two or three students that are waiting for you, wasting valuable time. Um, there are three really good digital whiteboard apps and there are more out there, but the one that I used here is called um, Edu Creations is one, um, Show Me is another, and explain everything is another, which is, by the way, the one that I used here, explain everything. So again, I hope that helped, um, and it will certainly help your students by recording directions and asking them if they have a question on how they, 
they arrive at a certain number to, to check out the video first. Okay, hope that helps. Thank you for watching.